everyone, my name is Delancey Prince and I am the Nutrition Communications and Project Manager for Dairy Council of Nevada and I am joined here today by Ed Goodhart. Yes, nice to be here. My name is Ed Goodhart. I'm the General Manager of Ponderosa Dairies here in Amargosa Valley, about 85-90 miles north and west of the Las Vegas Strip, right in your backyard. And Ed is going to give us an inside look into Ponderosa Dairies, so let's get started. So I would like to start off with the background of Ponderosa Dairies. Uh, when did it first open and how many acres are you guys working with? Uh, we started back in 1994, so we're going on you know, pretty close to 30 years that we've been out here. The operation has grown to expand and include about 10,000 milking animals and about uh, 3,000 acres of crop ground. And we employ about 200 people. We produce about 850,000 pounds of milk a day, which is about a tanker load every one and a half hours. Wow, amazing. And so I'm curious, could you tell me a little bit more about the sustainability efforts on the farm? So we do a lot of uh, deals. Number one, the water is used several times on the farm. When it's pumped out of the ground, it's used to chill the milk, take the excess heat out of the milk to chill it. Then it's recycled through our holding ponds, and then it's filtered out and then reused to irrigate on the pasture. So even on the, the, the farm like this, a lot of times that water will be used three or four times. Number two, we also use energy saving technologies such as these pivots mm -hmm. that circle around slowly the fields. They're very low hanging drops, minimize evaporation. So we try to make every drop of water count. We're also taking fresh cuttings off of vegetables and salads and fruits from some of the larger processing facilities in Las Vegas and feeding that to our cows as well. So these cows eat a lot of byproducts that were not for them, those products would end up in a landfill. And could you tell me a little bit about the crops that you grow here? Do you practice crop rotation? Yeah, we practice crop rotation. And like I said, on these organic fields, we use no chemical fertilizers or herbicides. So we do a constant uh, crop rotation to increase the amount of carbon in the soil, which uh, basically adds soil fertility and maximizes crop growth, as well as serving as a, a carbon sink mm -hmm. to pull carbon out of the atmosphere and integrate it into the soil. So we're actually sequestering carbon emissions. We're also working with our community partners to go ahead and do some recycling. And so we have stable waste and straw coming in from South Point Casino there in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And we use that to integrate it into our composting operation. And we sell a lot of compost to farmers throughout Nevada and Utah. We also have a landfill diversion project. So we take an old wallboard, grind that up, and use that gypsum in the wallboard to use that as a soil amendment. Okay, Ed, so what is a typical day on the farm like for you? Well, to put it in perspective, we always work for the cows. So we realize that these cows are our bosses and cows <laughs> crave consistency. So they want to be fed the same time every day. They want to be milked the same time every day. Mm -hmm. We want to go ahead and make sure they're comfortable. Cow comfort is paramount to a healthy, happy, comfortable cow that will uh, be happy and make lots of milk for us. And now I hear too at Ponderosa Dairies that you guys use special kinds of trucks. Could you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, looking towards minimizing our impact on the environment and practicing sustainability, we're actually using uh, all of our trucks that are running the milk to the different processing facilities. We're using compressed natural gas trucks. Mm. And so that has a lot lower emissions than the standard diesel engine powered trucks. So we're able to go ahead and minimize our carbon footprint. With all that milk you're producing, where is it going? Well, a good portion of that milk actually goes right to Las Vegas, only about 85 or 90 miles away to Metal Gold, right south of the racetrack. And uh, we supply all of the milk that goes to the school lunch milk program. Oh, wow. So if your kids are enjoying milk at school, it more than likely came right here in Nevada, locally produced. Oh, neat. All right, everyone, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much, Ed, for having us here today. Well, thank you for coming on and paying us a visit. Like I said, we are proud to be part of Southern Nevada's only producing dairy still here in Nevada. We're very proud of our tradition and hopefully we can carry it on many years into the future. <laughs> My name is Delancey Prince, and on behalf of Dairy Council of Nevada and Ponderosa Dairies, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.